guys, today I'm going to be doing a really fun video. I'm going to be showing you guys my completed Rectus journal. So I'm not very artistic as in drawing and things like that. So some of the drawings aren't very good in here, but I definitely tried to follow all the instructions and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And this video is for my anniversary, my YouTube anniversary. It's coming up or it's around this time. So I thought it'd be a fun video to post. So a question you guys can answer in the comments down below is have you ever had a wreck this journal and did you enjoy making it? If so, what was your favorite page to wreck? So my two favorite pages were sell this page and also tear the strips and rip it up. I thought those two pages were so much fun. So let's get right into it. Here we have the covers. So I bought all of these stickers from a stationery store, but there weren't really any pages to use them and you did have to decorate the front. So I decided to use it here and they're all traveling theme, which is so cool. This one says go travel and then this one's a Paris sticker, New York sticker. And then it says those, not all those who wonder are lost. And I love this sticker on the front here. It says caution contents might be boring. I think that was really cool to stick on the front too. Here we have the first page. It's pretty simple. I didn't really want to do that much, but I bought these really cool shell stamps that I wanted to use and there weren't really any pages that I used them for, so I decided to just use it on the front and I colored this in yellow, the wreck this journal. And let's turn over to the next page. This page I left blank, but this one here I just colored it in. There weren't really any instructions for the first couple pages at least, so I colored this part purple and this part orange. And let's turn over. So here is the first page. You have to write this book belongs to. So I just wrote my channel name, AJOSF. So this book belongs to AJOSF and then you have to write your name in white. So I decided to use white out. And then this one allegedly, so I kind of did writing, writing. This one in really tiny letters, this one backwards, and this one really faintly, but I was writing it with a marker so you can still see it really clearly, but I didn't push as hard. This one really large letters, but obviously I didn't write my address. This side I just did really cool patterns, so I kind of followed the coloring in, so I did yellow, pink, yellow, pink, green, pink, so that's what I did on this side too. This page is the instructions page, so you can't really do too much with this page either, but I really like how it turned out. I just colored it blue and then I put blue polka dots in different sizes everywhere, so I think that looked pretty fun. And then the instructions are on this side. Obviously I didn't color it in, so you're still able to see the instructions. And then let's turn over. And here we have the materials, and this page says add your own page numbers. I still haven't done that yet. I'll go back and add the page numbers later on, but I think that will take quite a while, so I've left that out for now. So let's turn it over to the first official page. So this is the first official page. It says crack the spine and then this one's leave this page blank on purpose. So obviously I left it blank, but on this side I saw it online like someone had a huge hole and then they did cracks everywhere. So that's what I kind of did. I saw other people do like cracks like that where they actually drew a spine and I'm not that artistically creative so I just stuck with this. So let's turn over to the next page. And this is what I call my Bailey page. So Bailey is my dog, if you don't know. And this instruction here says, stand here, wipe your feet, jump up and down. And Bailey was digging in the garden, had dirt all over his feet. So I got him to step onto my page and that's all of his like footprints or his feet all over the page. That's why it's kind of like a little bit messy. So then I drew like a really cute little beach scene with his paw prints here. And then we've got the water and the sky. So I think this page turned out pretty cute. Moving right along to this page, the instruction for this double page here is pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. So I don't drink coffee, so I didn't really get to do this page properly, but I kind of cheated. I just drew a coffee cup, but I think it turned out really cute. I did like little steam, and I colored it blue, and then I decided to do coffee beans on this side just so it wasn't completely plain, and I colored that brown as well. This page turned out all right. It could have been a lot better if I added more drawings up here, but I think it still turned out pretty cute. I used a bunch of Finding Dory and Finding Nemo characters because the instructions is poke holes in the page using a pencil. So when I think about holes, I think about bubbles like in the ocean kind of thing. So that's what I kind of did. I did Dory and Nemo and Marlin, and then I added all these like sea accessories and I wrote Finding Nemo up here. So let's turn it over to the next page. And unfortunately, there are a bunch of different holes on this side from the other page, but that's all right. So this instruction here says draw fat lines and thin pushing really hard with a pencil. So I decided to do little zebra or zebra stripes all along here. And I did it really hard with a pencil. But then on this side, I didn't really want to use a pencil. I decided to use a marker and I just did straight lines with different like thickness to it. And it's all black. 
The instruction for the next page here says that this page is for handprints or fingerprints to get them dirty and pressed down. So I had a ton of different colored paints. So I pretty much just put them on my finger and I just went like that on both of the pages. And I think this turned out really cool. With these ones, I painted my finger half pink and half blue. So that's how I got those ones and then the green and the blue there. And I think this turned out pretty cool. I love this glittery purple paint. It's so pretty. And the blue one turned out really nice as well. And I tried to use as many colors as possible. And if we turn over to this page, I'm not really happy with this page. I mean, it could have turned out a lot better, but it's perfectly fine. So it says color this entire page. So I kind of tried to do like an African sunset kind of thing, but I'm not too sure if it turned out. So this is meant to be the sun, and then it's meant to be like a reddy orange sky with the trees and the birds, and this is meant to just be the ground. It turned out all right. I'm glad I used a marker instead of a pencil, but here's the outcome. This page turned out interesting and not how I expected it to. So if you know Wreck This Journal, there's a ton of circles here and you're meant to fling like paint or anything like that and there's meant to be dots and splatters everywhere. And that's what I did. I like squirt the paint bottle with different dots. I think it turned out really cool, but I was waiting for ages for it to dry and it never did. So I decided to fold the page over. When I opened it up, the paint just went everywhere on both pages. I think it turned out pretty fun, but it definitely wasn't the instruction they told me to do but that's perfectly fine. I love how there's the purple everywhere and then the green and the blue just kind of blended in together. So let's turn over to this page. This one says press leaves and other found things. I tried to press them down and stick it but it didn't really stay so a lot of it kind of just fell down on the side but these pieces kind of worked out really well. I just went out to the garden and picked up a couple of dead leaves and things like that and used glue and pushed it down and some of it did stay though. And then on this side, I thought it'd be cool to do a drawing of different types of leaves. And then there was this really cool design showing all these different types. So I wrote the names up here, except when I was doing the paint on this side, it kind of got ruined. So I had to retrace it over, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Here we have another page and this instruction here says scratch using a sharp object and I kept using different things like keys and coins and nothing would work. In the end I tried to draw a flower but it kind of just went through the, to the other page so I left it like it is. And then on this side I did really cool zigzags and dots with green and yellow markers. So let's turn over because this isn't that interesting. This was really fun. This one is do some rubbings with a pencil. So I used colored pencils on this side and just a regular pencil and I used coins. So in Australia we have 50 cent coins, $2 coins, and $1. Those are the coins that I used for this at least. And you can see it turned out pretty cool. You can see it says 50 here and $1 and $2. So you can see it definitely worked. And if you have this page blank and you write this journal, I definitely recommend using coins because they're great rubbings and it definitely does turn out. The next page we'll be taking a look at is this one right here. It's called Scribble Wildly, Violently, and Reckless Abandon. This was the most fun page to do, definitely. And once I did this page, a couple of other pages I did scribbling because it was so much fun. So I just got my pens and I just scribbled it out and I just used so many different colors and it was so much fun and you just see it's filled up with so many colors. And then we can move along to this page. And I'm really happy with this page as well. I'm so glad with how it turned out. It took a really long time to do as well. So here's a comment that you guys can write down in the comment section below. Can you guess what movie or book series these pictures are from? And I'll give you a hint. It's one of these books here. And it's so cool. You can see there's the platform nine and three quarters. And then there's the main character here. And if you are a big fan, you'll definitely know what this is. So as I said before, one of these books it's from these pictures here. So this page, it says tear strips and rip it up. So when I was looking at the strips, I'm like, they'd be really cool as like books. So I just did a ton of different sci-fi books. So The Hunger Games, Harry Potter, Throw in a Glass. And this one's kind of like a young adult book, The Fault in Our Stars, Percy Jackson and Divergent. And I love Percy Jackson. It's such a great series. So I ripped it up. And then the next page is glue, staple, tape, these pages together so on the sides and up here it's stuck down except for obviously the strips which are open. 
So the instructions for this double page is draw lines while in motion, the bus, train, while walking. So I did three different types. I did in the car, going up the stairs, and just casually walking. And I used four different colors. So with the stairs, I went up, down, up, down. And then in the car, I just did it regularly. And walking, I just walked up and down a hallway. And I used different colors. And as you can see, the ladder was definitely the largest one. had the most amount of movements. And the walking one was definitely the easiest. The longest page award would definitely have to go to this circle page. This took hours and hours and I didn't realize how long it would take. Otherwise, I'd probably do a complete different design. So I started off with this page and I did really tiny circles as zigzags. And then once I started doing a couple of lines, it was like half an hour and I'm like, wow, this is taking a really long time. So I gradually did bigger circles as I went down, but this took a couple of hours by itself. And then I did some circles along here just so I wouldn't have to do as many. But then I ended up doing really tiny circles anyways. So it just took a crazy amount of time. And then here I was drinking off of like a coffee cup with like some hot water. So I decided to do circles with different colors and I just did polka dots. So for example, this purple one, each purple circle has green. So then I would put green here, but then all the blue circles would have brown. So they'd just start to mix colors. Like this one, there are a ton of different colors. So I think that turned out pretty cool. And I kind of wish I did this page on this page as well. I think this turned out all right, but it just took way too long. This page was kind of gross, but I obviously had to follow the instructions of the breakfast journal. So this double page says document your dinner, rub, smear, splatter your food, use this page as a napkin. So I had spaghetti and meatballs for dinner one night and I decided to put the meat sauce on here, but I didn't really want to put it on both pages because it was kind of gross, but I did have to follow the instructions. So I just drew a drawing of spaghetti and meatballs and I wrote it up here. Not a very good drawing, but I didn't really want to put the food all over my book. This page was originally one of my least favorite pages while I was working on it. I just used coloring pencils and I colored this whole thing blue. It was like that color, the whole thing across, and I didn't use markers or anything, and it just didn't look very good. But what I did was I decided to erase the blue and I decided to put my marker and just trace everything so it would stand out more. And instead of using this blue, I colored it in with the marker and I think it turned out great. So basically, Bailey was hanging around my book and he was trying to get a hold of it. So I'm like, all right, you can chew it off. So he chewed this paper off and I got it out of his mouth straight away. He didn't like swallow the paper or anything. So he was the one who chewed on this page and he didn't swallow it. But I decided to put different edible things like cotton candy and donuts and cakes and everything looks really delicious. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I'm so glad that I changed it. This page has a ton of little pages inside of it. It's all in this little section. So this is contact paper, but I decided to use it as wrapping paper. So I know this instruction here says wrap something, but I needed to hold all of these extra activities. So I decided to just use it as a present kind of thing, just to hold everything into the book. And I think it turned out fine. And I had some extra bits of this. So I decided to use it as a little present. And when I think of wrapping something, I think of Christmas time. So I did a little Christmas scene and I think it turned out pretty cute with like a little fireplace and a tree and candles. And it says, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. So let's take a look at what's in here. There should be three pages. Let's take out the third page. So this is the first page. It says tear out crumple. I decided to use different recycling bins. There's yellow, green, red, and blue. And as you can see, it's all crumpled up and I just folded it away and I've put it down just so I don't lose it. So let's put that one away and hopefully it goes in. And then this is the next page. You had to make a paper airplane and I love this design. It turned out really cool and fun, except the only thing is these dots took a while. So I decided to just do larger dots. Definitely don't do dots when you write this journal because you'll regret it. It takes a really long time. It does turn out really cool though. So that's just the paper airplane. And then of course you have to finish off with the funnel. So you're meant to make a funnel and you're meant to drink out of water. So I just used different colors of blue in there and I just did these dots. I think that turned out pretty cool. So let's just put that inside and this all holds it together. And I think this is such a good idea and I saw it online, someone did it and it all stays nice and secure so I don't lose anything. 
The next page instructs you to eat some colorful candy and then you have to lick the page. So it's kind of like tongue painting. So I had this blue candy and I kind of licked the page. It's kind of gross again, but you can see it's a really bright blue color. And then I just decided to do little hearts everywhere just to fill up the rest of the page. There's nothing too much, but this next page took a really long time as well. So what you have to do is you have to write one word over and over again. So I decided to write YouTube in the tiniest font and this took so long, as you can see. But what I liked about it is that I added the YouTube logo on both sides. You can see there's the red and then there's the white triangle here. And it just took a crazy amount of time, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Obviously, I picked the word YouTube because I'm always on it and I love the website. This page turned out to be really fun and I really think it's quite cute. So this instructs saying, you have to tie a string to the spine of the book and swing wildly and let it hit the wall. So I did tie a piece of string. I have two strings together. There's the red one. There's also this greeny gold one and there's a bow on the bottom. I think that's really cute. So I did tie it and then I added a couple of extra strings because I bought a whole packet of ribbons and I didn't really want to waste them and I did want to do something on this page as well. So I decided to tie bows. So I added these along here. And then on this side, I just did bows. This side, I did a couple of double bows, but they took a really long time. So these last few, I just did single ones. And I think it turned out really cute. This page instructs you to pick up the journal without using your hands. And when I think of without using your hands, I think of magic. And when I was looking this up, a lot of people did Tinkerbell, and I thought that was such a great idea, but I thought I wouldn't copy anyone else in that way. So I was looking at potion bottles, and I found these, and I decided to copy the photo like that. And I think it turned out really fun. There's a ton of different potion designs, and this one's got a heart, this one's got a leaf, so they all mean different things. And then I just did green crosses here, and I traced it with this paintbrush pen, and I used the color purple. I'm pretty sure the first page that I ever did in this book was the beach scene, the first one that I showed you guys right at the start, but this was the second one I did. So the instruction says climb up high and drop the journal. So I did climb up high and I did drop it, but I didn't want to leave it blank. So what I did was I thought of a really tall animal, so I went with a giraffe and I drew it eating like some leaves and I thought it was really cute. And then on this side I did like a cloud scene in the sky and I think it turned out pretty fun, especially since it was one of my first attempts with the journal. I wasn't too sure what to do with this page. It says compost this page and watch it deteriorate, which means you have to like put it in your garden and watch it kind of like shrivel up. But I didn't want to really ruin this drawing here, so I just decided to cover it in dirt. I know I kind of cheated here, but I thought I'd just leave it like so. So let's move along to a more interesting page. This page says do a really ugly drawing using ugly subject matters like gum, poo, dead things, a badly drawn bird, mold, barf, and crud. My friend really wanted to do this page, so she just decided to draw a bunch of poos pretty much with blue and purple paintbrush pens. So there's some really large ones and tiny ones. This one's pretty random, but she really wanted to do it, so I just let her have fun with it. This page instructs you to play sticky things here, honey, gum, syrup, glue, sucker, and marshmallow, and I didn't really have any sticky things, so I just decided to draw some of those things. So I did a chocolate, a sucker, and then I wrote candy on the bottom. I think this turned out really cute. I did a pot of honey, and I also did a gumball machine, so I'm really happy with this page. I'm not really happy with this page, so if I could just block it out and leave it like that, I would, but it's perfectly fine, and I created the journal like this, so I just have to leave it. And then let's turn to this page. And I am so happy. This would have to be one of my all-time favorite pages, even though it's not really an instruction. So this says, pretend you are doodling on the back of an envelope while you're on the phone. So I was talking to my friend on the phone. What I did was I originally started doing this design and I didn't like it, but then I started doing this design. I think it turned out pretty cool. So I just did it for the rest of it. And I kind of wish that I did this one all the way down. I think that would have turned out great, but that's perfectly fine. And this one, I just did a bunch of like lines all across and I colored it different bright colors and I love it so much. And I think it turned out amazing. So this page is already ripped out because you're supposed to do it. It's called Journal Golf. 
It says you're meant to tear out the page, crumple it into a ball, and kick it through the book, and that's what I did. But I decided to stick it back in, and as you can see, it's all crumpled up, and I didn't really want to leave it completely blank, so I drew this really cool golf scene with wide out as like a little golf ball, and I think it turned out pretty cute. And on this side, it says make a paper chain. I haven't actually made it yet or cut it out, but I just did different designs and stripes and dots and everything with different colors, and that turned out pretty fun too. The instructions on this page says collect fruit stickers here and stickers you find on bought fruit. So I went into my fridge and I found three different types of fruits and vegetables that had stickers. So there were kiwi fruit, lemons, and also persimmon. And persimmon is the best fruit ever. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. And I didn't really have that many stickers, so I decided to just draw a bunch of different types of fruit. So I have pineapples and grapes and a fruit bowl here too. This page turned out to be really interesting, so the instruction was cover this page only using office supplies. And I found these really cool paper clips. They're like of bikes and little letters and hearts and stars. And I think that was really fun. I stuck this one in here. And then we have a bunch of different sticky notes. This one was shaped as a New York. It was like a New York design, and I thought that was so cool. And I just did a bunch of different drawings everywhere of office supplies too. So let's bring this across and I think this turned out really fun I'm really happy so this instruction here was bring this book in the shower with you I didn't actually bring it in the shower I just flicked water on it but it would have been as if I went in the shower anyways and it says I'm dancing in the mirror singing in the shower because that's the song I thought of when I thought of this instruction and I just did a bunch of blue dots and as you can see the water is on it and it kind of went across and I think that turned out so cool and then I just did a little shower head design on the top here too this page says tie a string to the journal, go for a walk and drag it. So we have this string here and as you can see I did drag it so you can see that the ribbon's all frayed. But I have three different types of shoes here on this side just so I wouldn't leave it completely blank. We have a flip flop, a regular shoe and then a converse shoe here too and you can see when I took it for a walk all of these lines went across it and that turned out pretty fun. So if we move along to this page, this took quite a while as well. So it says rub here with dirt. So on this page, I completely rubbed it with dirt and I rubbed it for dirt of half of it too. But when I thought of dirt, I thought about like a farm. So I decided to do a cute little farm scene and then we have like a barn and you can open it up and see all of the animals sleeping because it's meant to be nighttime. It kind of looks like daytime, but that's all right. So we can flip it down, you can see all the different animals sleeping because it's night. And I really like how I did this with all the flaps, otherwise it would have been pretty boring. This page turned out to be really pretty, so it says use this page as a test page for pens, paints, markers, or art supplies. So basically what I did was color pencils, markers, color pencils, pens, color pencils, another set of markers, kind of that, and I just did one on and one off. And it turned out really cool, colorful, bright, and I'm really happy with it. And I did a bunch of little polka dots on the side as well, so it wouldn't be completely blank. So let's turn over to this page and basically you're meant to just do a design on one page and then push it down and then open it up and it's meant to make a pattern and I'm not too sure what this pattern is. It's just a bunch of different colored paints everywhere and it's really interesting. It's not one of my favorite pages but it's just kind of there and completed. So all of the pages I just showed before is the first half of my breakfast journal. It's all completed, but this video is going on for quite a while and I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm going to separate it into two different parts. So stay tuned for that video if it's not out already. And if it is, make sure you check it out. So make sure you answer the questions in the comments down below, which is what is your favorite page in your breakfast journal if you do have one and have you ever tried it out? It's so cool and I definitely recommend picking one up. So stay tuned for the second video and thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.